Hello everybody, this is Gene Star134 coming to you with a new more review. As you can see, this is the life of Pi. Now I know this is 2013 and this movie is a couple months late on my list, but this is one that I should have got around to but never did. And it nagged at the back of my mind just a little bit, just never came back until re more recently. Now going into this movie, just from the previews alone, it looked graphically stunning. As far as CGI and everything goes, it looks, it was top. It was one of those movies that was just like, if anything, comparable to James Cameron's Avatar. Now, I'll leave it at that as far as comparability, as far as beauty goes. Now, the story is about a young man named Pai Patel who, well, originally the story starts as him telling of his story to another man who uh, who's an author who out of nowhere just gives up and wants to again realize why there is the things that happen. It, it, I don't want to go semi-religious on it, but the best way to say it is his pie's uncle tells him uh, this man that he will believe in God after he sees it. So after he talks to Pi. So he finds Pi and uh, speaks to him and Pi tells him of his story. And not to go too much in depth because it's actually a very interesting story but it's one of those movies that you have to see for yourself. But overall generally the movie is that Pi learns of different ideas and different ways of life as he grows up and he marks significant points and then he goes on finds the major turning point of his life is that his parents who own a zoo decide they're gonna move to America well, Canada which is where Pi lives currently now this does kind of bring in some question because you already know if Pi survives so what is the point and it's something that I've actually I, I've found interesting and if anything the saying goes half the fun is in the journey and that's what this movie is all about is not as much as it, the end result because you already know it but what happens in between the journey and this is his journey and in, in so many words. He speaks of what happens on the boat where it crashes and he survives on a life raft. And I can't, again, go into too many details without ruining it for you, but what you do, what you do know is that, just from the previews alone, is that he now is not the only one on the raft. There is a 500 pound Bengal tiger with him and so he must survive being at sea on technically on a life raft with this tiger question is what happens and from there I will give you the basic review and won't ruin the movie for you if you actually choose to see it so as the story goes you get a very very detailed story I can honestly say that I mean as something that expands for what was actually turned out to be a almost a year experience for Pi is shown down into two hours and that's not bad at all if anything it, it's fairly condensed but still has its main points and the only thing I can honestly say that lacks is pacing. There's one, it's it's pretty much, it flatlines for a good portion of the movie, and then when you finally feel like you've had enough, that's when it hits you. And I can say that it is, can't say a breath of fresh air, but something interesting that really does stand out in my mind. There's not many movies that actually just hit you when you're, not expecting it. I mean, of course, it had its 
ups and downs, some predictability to it, but what really surprises you is the mild things that really you just couldn't see coming. I mean, short of the previews, which show a lot of the action, a lot of the over-the-top drama that happens in the movie, the pacing that allows for some breathability, some realism that comes into the character, even though the story is hardly believable. Again, not to ruin too much, but it, it works. Again, pacing works for itself, and it doesn't. It, it's one of those ones that kind of dumbfounds me. And I can say that, if anything, I liked it and I didn't simply because as a product of the newer generation, it's hard to watch a movie and not expect action every 30 seconds. I mean, and that's what, if anything, pulls out of this movie is the fact that it's playing to the traditional roles and that the movie can be built with emotion and drama and not have to have 20 seconds of action every 15 minutes and just by actors alone by Shiraj Sharma I'm sorry if I say it right or uh, wrong and then Irfan Khan who plays Adal Pai Patel these two characters put their heart and soul into the, this movie and honestly is seen in every single scene so even as a movie if it was not worthwhile it is something that I would say just for the sake of suggesting it is one of my all-time favorites I mean there were times where even my patience was tested but what can I say I'm really at a loss for words but I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope this explains something about the movie go see it go rent it go find it down a theater in the US I don't know where you can probably find it on just about anywhere in Blockbuster Reddit box go find it life of pie thank you for listening this is Gene Starwin 34 signing out